that has certainly opened things up. And look at this cue ball. Oh, a fraction away from getting in behind the yellow, but that's opened things up somewhat. He certainly wasn't scared of get, trying to get the black into play. Positive thinking. Is there a path for Karen Wilson to try and pot this red and get round back down the bulk area? I think there is. Well, it was a good effort. He pot he's potted three or four like that in the match, but this is a deciding frame. There was an awful lot of pressure on that. He missed it by far enough that he didn't get the correct angle with the cue ball, but he's left Judd very awkwardly placed. Unless there's a plant on. <laughs> Don't think so. Oh, this is quite horrible, isn't it? Has he got to get sort of the extended rest out and try and... That's a horrible shot to play, that is. He could play the, the red down the rail, screw back into bulk. But I don't see any other types of shots. He's got the red on the top cushion to play safe off of, down into bulk, but he wants to be more aggressive than that. Is he talking himself into a pot? Nightmare, nightmare shot. What, what on earth happened there? Surely there was a safer option. Everything's been thrown away. Everything's been thrown away. How does he feel now? Well. He's got to sit there and see what Kyron can make of this chance. It's not a good chance. And Judd has a 23-point advantage, but he thought long and hard and then took on another very risky plant. There was a straightforward safety shot, has to be said. And he's gone to get the black back up on the spot straight away. One. Needs a bit of an angle. <laughs> He's got the red near the middle pocket, so very positive thinking there from Kyron. So this is his chance. Judd's had his opportunity. Straight enough, it's a bit of a problem. Well, this is a thin one, you can tell, Eight. shaking the head. He, he just finished a little awkward on that black there. Because the white anywhere over the right side of the table, that was an easy pot. Dennis, he might not be able to avoid in potting this red, assuming he can cut it back. He might not be able to avoid collision with the other red on the left-hand side cushion. Such a thin cut. It's tough to screw the ball. What's he doing here? Can, trusting a bit to luck? Can he control it? Wow. Where's this red going? It's important where it goes. It goes in? No. No. Well, he's made it a big pocket. He, unmissable pink in the middle pocket, I would, I would suggest, Dennis. Oh, it's a bit OK, settle down, please. I think it's unmissable. Yeah, he's got a... Well, he trusted to luck, and he's got massive amount, I think. As long as he catches the red thin, if the pink doesn't go in direct. As long as the red is also not touching the cushion, he won't get an immediate double kiss as well.
a semi-final we've been treated to here. What else is left in this fantastic match? Oh, he's under hit that. 16. Just about got away with it. Thought he under hit it a bit more than that. People ask you what's it like out there under these conditions. It's it's worse for the parents, isn't it? <laughs> they are more nervous than you are. Yeah. When you're out there at this stage of the match, you're playing on pure instinct. So far, every ball's gone in the middle of the pocket. He knows this is a golden opportunity. 23. He knows he's been gifted it. Is he going to fulfill his potential? An awful long way to go yet with a few reds safe. That's certainly put all four reds on now, but then there's three fairly difficult 30. ones. That was an excellently controlled shot. Could have easily have been forgiven for hitting that harder. It's advantage Kyron Wilson now. 31. <laughs> He's going to need one of the difficult three reds on the table. 38. At the very least. And perhaps only one. It's a great effort here. 39. Still looking good. That's the number he's looking there on the right of your screen. 67 points if he can get there. Judd will need a snooker. And the red that he was just leaning over there, the one that's nearest the right corner pocket, you know, that's not too badly 46. placed. Yeah, he needs high colours to only need the one red. As you say, Dennis, that's not a bad red to get on. Oh, bit lucky. 47. But the red's gone down the table. It's, it's OK because he's got an angle on the pink to drop on that red that he knocked up near the uh, brown. It's missable into the middle pocket. It's more of an angle than it looks. It always is on our TV screen, but I think you'd expect him to just drop it in. It hasn't got to do much with the cue ball. 48. It's there. 30 points, the difference now, slowly creeping towards a place in the final. There's still a bit of work to be done yet. He needs 14 points from two reds. Two pinks, one black and one blue. Other than that, he's going to need two of these difficult reds on the side cushion. And he had worked that out. That's the reason he played up for the black bear. Yeah, that red I mentioned, he can drop on that one here. Well, for all of the inaccuracies of positional play that Kyron Wilson showed at the start of this match, he's on the brink of an absolutely fantastic victory. 
maybe the most important of his life. He showed great character. He's improved that this match on, has gone on. One more good positional shot. He's played for the loose red. He's going to need a little bit of help here. 61. Gonna need the extension on his cue and the extended rest. So, hasn't got anything to do with the cue ball. It'll automatically finish on the black. And I mentioned earlier, he did defeat Judd in the 2015 Shanghai Masters. 10-9, deciding frame. He doesn't want to try and get too clever with this. Just drop it in. He's going to be on the black. Doesn't necessarily need to get too close to the black. Fantastic round of applause for just potting that red there. But he's still looking at the scoreboard. Just this black to leave Judd needing snookers. Just one snooker to tie at the moment, so the double would make absolutely certain of a place in the final. A treble will do, a treble will do. And now we see the reaction. Yeah, look at that means to Kyron Wilson. What a comeback against Jeb Trump, who was 5-2 up and looked to be dominating the match. This is some performance for the man from Kettering. Well, what does this do to the respective careers of both players? What a turnaround. Well, it's hard to describe how he's feeling inside. He's puffing his cheeks. He's, oh. 72. It's hard to describe how he feels, but this has been the best performance of his career, even though he won a ranking event. It doesn't matter about that. These players have treated us to one fantastic semi-final. It looked like it was all one way. Jeff Trump looked like he was going to win the match quite comfortably. In the end, the man from Kettering has won four frames in a row. And didn't he do it in style? And he gets himself through to the final of the Daffabet Masters.